What's up everybody and welcome back to Operation Overhaul. Today we're going to be doing another tool haul video. Uh, I got these three tools right here and then one other surprise I'm going to show you that I got in. But uh, like I said, we're going to go over all this stuff in just a few minutes. So if you would, stay tuned and chum on. <laughs> Alright, so I got these three tools right here. Like I said, it's going to be a tool haul video and I'm going to show you these three tools real quick and kind of go over the part numbers and everything on them and uh, then I'm going to show you the big tool that I recently got. I'm really excited about it. It's going to make filming videos a lot easier and it's going to make working on cars for me a lot easier as well. But for anybody who doesn't know, right now Snap-on does have a hammer sale going on. If you buy one of the hammers, you do get like a free beanie, toboggan, whatever you want to call it that comes with a little headlamp in the same color as the hammer that you got. I'm a orange and blue fanatic, so I picked up the orange hammer and it did come with the hat that has, that has the orange S logo on it. This is the hammer I got. It is a 32 ounce hammer and if we can get that focus right there that's the part number to this it is hbb d32 like i said it is a 32 ounce hammer and it is the uh, dead blow ball peen hammer i haven't used it yet i've been needing one and i like the 32 ounces that seems to be my preferred hammer weight to go to and then i picked up the little stubby ratchet, uh, the little 3 8 stubby ratchet. Uh, if anybody's ever done spark plugs on like a 5 4 or something like that where it's kind of tight on those, uh, I prefer to use these because they do come in handy a lot. And let's we'll see if we can get the part number in. Right there's FK80. Yeah, FK80. That's it right there. Like I said, this is the little stubby uh, ratchet. And I do use it a lot on Fords whenever it comes to doing the spark plugs. And then I picked up the 3 8 shallow socket set, the metric. They're, they are 12 point. Let me open them up real quick and show everybody. I have used this already once because I took a transmission out of a Ford and I had to replace it and the torque converter bolts are a little tight in those and this right here works out great like I said that is a 13 millimeter right here and look how short it is I mean it's probably an inch long but it goes from an 8 10 12 13 14 15 16 17 and an 18 Sorry about the glare on those. And it also comes with the little low profile ratchet. <clears throat> right here is the ratchet number. It's RAF80A. And then the whole kit. <clears throat> the whole kit number is right here. It is PAKLD244. Like I said, I got the whole kit because it is uh, like slimline, low profile sockets and a ratchet just to get into some really tight spots. And as I said before, they are 12 points and they actually grab, grab on to the six point bolts actually really well because I use them for the torque converter. But that, are, that is the three things I picked up from Snap-on uh, this past week. And I do, like I said, I haven't used this hammer yet, but I have used these two already. And uh, I'll use, once I get using them a little bit more, I will try to do a tool review on these. But uh, So the next big thing that I'm going to show you is I picked up a two-post low-profile uh, mid-rise lift from max jacks so right there that's all the arms the uh, adapters the pump 
the hoses, uh, all the bolts and everything that come with it. And I'll show you some of them. So it comes with the flat pads on it. And then it comes with these two adapters too. And it gives you enough for all four legs. And then it even comes with these pads as well that has the rubber in it right here and can grab the frame a little bit better. The pump is meant to be mounted on a cart, like it has all the parts with the cart on it, but I'm not going to use the cart actually. I'm actually going to mount it to my wall and plug it in and then I'm going to get a longer hydraulic hose and just leave it stationary. So you can bolt it up right here and bolt it to the wall. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it there and keep it plugged up. And whenever I need to use it, I can just go over there, pull a car in, and start using it. Like I said, this is going to let me film stuff a little bit better so I can get it in the air more for everybody. Especially on like suspension, brakes, and stuff like that. And as far as the hoses, the hoses are good quality hoses. They are 7,250 PSI rated. And everything came very well boxed up, I will have to say. It does come with like these quick disconnects. I'm probably not going to use these. I'm probably just going to use a standard uh, connection for it just so I can keep it plugged in at all time like I said. but you can see I don't know how good you can see that but they, sh they just snap in together like that and they pop out like I said, I'll show you again and they're quick disconnect come on now it ain't gonna do it Okay. I see why it wasn't working. So right there that little notch has to be over the detent ball. Pull it and it snaps right out. Like I said, it's the first time I've actually taken these out of the package. And I don't know if I'm going to use the quick disconnect or not. It just depends on how I feel. <clears throat> but it came with came with everything came with the legs the car the pump the lag bolts which are in that white box over there all your other little bolts and nuts and spacers and springs and everything you need to lock the legs and all that and even come with loctite for uh all the bolts so you can do it um what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you the post i do have posts set about where i'm going to do it i haven't put them in the floor yet uh, but I'm going to show you about what they look like. They do have wheels that bolt to the back of it so you can move it if you need to because this is, this is considered a portable lift. Uh, excuse the mess for right now. I'm still cleaning up and trying to get everything situated for the lift. But uh, as you can see, that is one of the legs of the lift. And I got one of the uh, arms on the bottom already attached just to see how far back it moves and how far in it can swing and everything just so I can get my measurements right to where I want to set it but I'm going to show you I'm going to show you here how it swings out and how far out they come I do have it spaced from the back of the plate to the back of the other legs plate about 117 inches is about what I'm going to set it they recommend anywhere from 105 up to I think it was 130 inches so I kind of went a little bit in between because where I'm going to be working on inside of here is mostly smaller cars, maybe some like 
uh, many or I don't want to say many, but like smaller trucks because my garage door really isn't that high, so I can't pull big trucks in here just yet. But I will show you how the leg swings out and extends and everything and how far in it'll go. So like I said, it extends out pretty good right there and then you can swing it and it will go and they slide in pretty easy but they will tuck all the way back on both sides like that which is good that way you can drive a car in here and still have room to go I have it where there's about 82 inches of space in between and if I need to I may even drill uh, more holes so I can actually scoot it back just a hair that way that I can put a little bit wider car in here if I need to but I got about 82 inches of width and I have about seven and a half foot on the front end and almost 11 foot on the back end and that way I can get the trucks and stuff in here like I said so I can lift those up uh, the specs on this is it will raise up I think it was 48 inches and I have measured uh, my little Colorado I can pull it in here and lift it up completely and I should be good to go and not have any issues it'll be about two inches before it touches anything on the roof but that's mainly what I wanted to do so I can get like smaller cars and stuff in here because uh, I've got some upcoming jobs like a couple transmissions that I'm going to have to replace and they require you dropping the engine and transmission all at the same time from the bottom of the car and this right here will make it a whole lot easier than trying to jack up a Altima or Corolla up high enough to clear the engine and this right here will allow me to do that but like I said this is the new toy that I have and whenever I get it installed I'll show a video of me lifting it up and everything hopefully I'll have it installed within the next couple weeks for everybody so I can show everybody what it looks like but I'm gonna uh, end the video here and if y'all would just please like subscribe and hit that notification bell and until next time y'all have a great day